This is a princess who has no wake-up call. The first thing she does when she wakes up daily is wash her face with crystal clear pearls. This can make her skin smooth and tender. Then the princess happily went outside. Planet Mall is a planet in the QN34 star system. Pearl people are naturally peace-loving and free. They can live in harmony with all natural elements, and the pearl people's daily work is to salvage pearls. Each of these pearls contains special energy. Finally, under the selection of the king and queen, they will choose the most powerful energy of the heavenly king beads. At this time, the princess will also bring a converter, and as it swallowed this pearl, soon, countless pearls will gush out of its body, the pearl people will return the gifts of nature to the planet. This will make the land of Planet Mole more fertile. The pearl people have been living on Planet Mole for centuries, but on Psy Day, the peace of Planet Mole was suddenly shattered. Numerous fireballs broke through the atmosphere and began falling rapidly to the ground. The pearl people were immediately thrown into chaos, because they have found out that the falling is the alien warship with flames, and Princess Pearl saw the situation as not good immediately towards the distant palace to run. Even the most precious converter was forgotten aside. At the same time, the king has led his soldiers to a battleship next to. When they entered, they found the battleship had been completely damaged, and bodies were lying all over the ground. However, before they could search carefully, there was a loud noise from outside the battleship. A huge ship fell fast toward the planet. Faced with such a crisis, the king ordered his soldiers to close the doors of the starship. Now, this ship is their last refuge. However, at this moment, the princess also suddenly arrives here. But now, the door cannot be opened. Finally, amidst the cries of the king and queen, the princess turned to the fire without fear. When the shockwave came, the princess turned into a blue light and dissipated in the universe. On the other hand, the human agent Valerian also suddenly had this strange dream. Finally, under the analysis of the artificial intelligence Alex, this is a signal from a different time dimension. Valerian did not think much about it, because he had more important things to do next. In the future, in the year 2150, Earth's technology is already highly developed. After over a hundred years of effort, humanity finally established a huge interstellar space station outside Earth. And with time, humans also received more and more alien civilizations here. Finally, with the cooperation of many alien races, the space station gradually became a prosperous interstellar metropolis. So humans named it the City of a Thousand Planets Alpha. But as the station grew larger and larger, its size and mass even threatened the Earth. So humanity finally decided to let the Alpha Space Station from the gravity of the Earth's bondage. The City of a Thousand Planets will also represent the human race continuing to advance into the unknown realm of the Deep Universe. Valerian and Loreline are the City of a Thousand Planets security personnel. This time, they were ordered to go to Planet Kyrian, because the base has received definite information. The last converter in the universe had appeared in the planet's market. When the ship successfully landed, there were already teammates waiting there in advance. And on the way to the destination, the captain also said the mission plan. Next, Valerian had to infiltrate the marketplace as a tourist. He then had 20 minutes to act. Once he confirms the location of the converter, Loreline will meet him, and together they will steal the converter. This trading market is very peculiar, and its essence is hidden in another dimension. Only by putting on a specific mask can they see the true face of this market. Then they put on special gloves so that shoppers can touch the goods here. There are over a million stores in the market, and countless alien races converge here. Once Valerian entered the market, he quietly separated from the group. He then managed to find the suspicious store based on the clues he had. Valerian immediately went into action, with the help of his teammates. He first put on a special transfer case for himself so that he could use his weapon in the dimensional space. Then his teammates scanned him again with a jammer so Valerian could be temporarily invisible in the dimensional space. On the other side, the squad that met him also began to move. They quickly took control of one of the guards. Loreline will also enter the market directly from the real world to cooperate with Valerian to take Converter away. At this point, two men in black also quietly entered the store. These are the two surviving Pearl people. That is, they commissioned the Dog Star to find the last converter in the universe. In exchange, Pearl Man also took out a Heavenly King Pearl. It contains a huge amount of energy. If the Dog Alien agreed to the deal, they would produce more Heavenly King beads. However, the Dog Alien wanted to back out. Now he still has the converter. He could have as many as he wanted. The two sides of the deal were instantly at loggerheads. However, while confronting each other, Valerian sneaked into the area. Soon, the hounds who were guarding the area caught the scent, but they couldn't see the intruder at all. 
With that, Valerian crept up behind the dog alien, the gun barrel pressed against the back of his head immediately stopped him from moving, then, Lorelein came up next to Valerian, the box she was holding could pass through multiple dimensions, under Valerian's threat, the dogman was forced to put the converter into the case, the target was already in hand, so Lorelein immediately prepared to leave first, but then Valerian set his eyes on Heavenly King Beads, just as he was about to take it away, Aham suddenly attacked, fortunately, Valerian reacted quickly, and he immediately rushed out of the store, however, the dog alien people would not let him go easily, soon, all the guards in the market were sent on an emergency mission, in the melee, Valerian's transducer lost its stealth effect, soon one of the guards spotted his whereabouts, the guard then immediately shot out a large number of magnetic beads, they latched onto Valerian's arm, and their weight of them immediately immobilized Valerian, just as the guards were about to come up and grab him, Valerian found himself sitting on a maintenance hole cover, so Valerian had an idea, immediately, Valerian smashed through the ground with the weight, he began to fall rapidly downward, by the time Valerian stopped falling, he found himself in a data man store, and the data man in front of him was a child, this made Valerian feel relieved, Valerian immediately took off a magnetic bead, just as he put the bead into the little dada's toy gun, another guard came after him, little dada immediately shot out the magnetic beads, Valerian pressed the switch, and all the magnetic beads flew toward the guard, the guard was immediately crushed into the ground, seeing that the problem had been solved, Valerian handed back the adhesive on his forehead to Dada, but it made little Dada cry out in aggravation, the cry attracted little Dada's mother, Valerian immediately ran away, when Valerian got outside, he quickly found the elevator back to the ground, Lorline was waiting at the exit, with her fixing the converter, Valerian finally returned from the multidimensional world to the real world. They immediately began to evacuate. The anomaly here also attracted the attention of the guards. Fortunately, under the cover of their teammates, they finally managed to return to the car. However, the crisis did not end there. The dog alien people, in their anger, unleashed a fierce beast. The beast immediately broke through the fence and chased after the car, and the beast's speed was so agile that ordinary weapons could not hit it. Even if the bullets succeeded in hitting it, it could not cause the slightest harm to him. Then the beast climbed directly onto the roof of the car. After slapping the weapon away, it was ready to open the car. At the moment of crisis, Valerian immediately began to call for support from distant starships. At this point, the beast was still wreaking havoc. It was about to enter the car. The support ships arrived on time. The moment when the beast entered the car, they also frighteningly escaped to the ship. This giant beast looks like it's not too smart. It followed and climbed onto the starships. Valerian saw the situation and immediately started the ship. And as the ship entered space, the beast finally fell off the ship. This is the last converter in the universe. If you give it a substance to swallow, it can immediately produce more of the same. I need to take you shopping with me. Later on the ship, Valerian also analyzed the pearl of the heavenly king he had grabbed. Such a small pearl contained incredibly powerful energy. This immediately aroused Valerian's interest in Planet Mall. However, when he wanted to check the information on Planet Mall, Valerian found that his authority was not good enough. The information about Planet Mall was of top secret level. Before Valerian could even think about it, the ship jumped back to the city of a thousand planets. Since leaving Earth orbit, Alpha Space Station has traveled 700 million miles, and the city of a thousand planets continues to expand. It now has more than 3 billion people living on it. Nearly 4,000 different races converge here. Although the city of a thousand planets is a mechanical fortress, it has a complete ecosystem. The liquid zone is south of the station, where more than 800 races, including the undersea people, live. In the north of the station is the gaseous region, where the representative creature is the big head people. They are proficient in neuroscience and molecular manufacturing technology. The eastern region is the vastest, where countless mechanical beings converge. They control advanced technologies such as computers and manufacturing. As for the final western region, the air here is specially treated, and more than 90 million humans live here. When the ship returned to the command center, they immediately reported the situation to the chief. After learning that the converter was intact, the officer gave them a new mission. The command found a radioactive area inside the space station not long ago. There even the detection signal cannot penetrate. So the chief sent a special team to investigate. Unexpectedly, 
The team ended up with no survivors, now the environment is not only highly contaminated, but they are also spreading rapidly in all directions. If we don't solve them soon, the contamination will quickly spread to the space station. Just when the chief was about to set up the mission, the base commander arrived here. Given the special nature of this crisis, the commander has applied to Earth to use absolute force to destroy the area by force, and the human government has also agreed to this plan. The commander then had to report to the Interstellar Alliance before taking action, however, at this time, a group of Pearl people suddenly broke into the conference room, the guards were no match for them in the face of their sudden attack, fortunately, the intruders did not use anti-personnel weapons, the goo they sprayed was only to trap people temporarily, Valerian saw the situation and immediately hid in a corner, at this point, he had already discovered that the intruders were the same group that had tried to buy converter, Valerian then immediately put a miniature robot in his mouth. Under their attack, the entire conference room quickly restored calm, then after the intruders searched carefully, they took the commander and left the place, as soon as all the intruders left, the mic robot crawled out of Valerian's mouth, he easily cut through the mucous membrane of Valerian's body, soon Valerian regained his freedom, he then immediately rescued Lorline. Valerian was tasked with tracking the commander's location, Lorline returned to the command room to provide intelligence support. Valerian went through the various racial areas to save time. By the time Valerian caught up with the intruders, they had already boarded the ship, they were about to leave their ship, Valerian saw this and immediately went after them in his ship, an exciting space battle was about to begin, seeing that the intruders were fleeing in front of them, Valerian immediately attacked them, but the other ship had an extremely sophisticated defense system, ordinary weapons could not break the ship's shield, the Valerians did not hesitate to use interstellar missiles because the enemy was getting farther away, but their ship split apart instantly, the countless small warplanes were a sight to behold, fortunately, the commander had a positioning system, and Valerian quickly relocked the target, but now, the enemy fighters were more agile and kept flying into tight places, Valerian's huge ship could not catch up with the target, so Valerian also followed and changed to a single-person ship, then they began to chase through the void, however, Lorline discovered that the enemy was heading toward the radioactive zone, Valerian had to stop them before that happened, so Valerian decisively launched the tractor, but then the enemy suddenly accelerated, instead of forcing them to stop, Valerian himself was taken into the radiation zone, soon his ship was out of control, the command also lost his coordinates, seeing that Valerian was in danger, Lorline immediately had to rescue him, but first, he had to determine Valerian's location, so Lorline found the alien race of Raven's people, they specialize in selling information for a living, soon, the crow's people brought Lorline to a mysterious body of water, this is the domain of the marine bromosaurs, their ability to purify polluted water, the bromosaurs also host a magical jellyfish, it allows creatures to ignore space for neural connections, when Lorline succeeded in capturing the jellyfish, the bromosaurs suddenly woke up, it immediately attacked Lorline, and its roar attracted more companions, a large group of giant beasts began to attack the yacht quickly, easily destroying all the buildings along the way, fortunately, this place is very close to the escape route, and Lorline also escaped at the last moment. When everything was safe, Lorline immediately put the transparent jellyfish on her head, with the jellyfish's magical power activated. She also saw the image of Valerian before he passed out. There was an L630 coordinate message there. The Raven explained that the location represented the 630th floor of the Eastern District, but it had been abandoned long ago. Lorline then rushed there immediately. After a search, she found the unconscious Valerian here. With Lorline's help, Valerian was able to regain consciousness. Seeing that Valerian was fine, Lorline began to observe the surrounding environment. There was not only a lizard living there but also many beautiful butterflies. However, as Lorline touched it, she was immediately pulled up by a silk thread. It turned out that it was not a butterfly but a bait the big eye man used for fishing. Soon after, Valerian was pulled up in the same way. He took out his opponent with a single shot, but when Valerian caught up with Lorline, he found she had been led into the Big Eye Man's territory. In order not to cause a diplomatic incident, Valerian now had to find a way to sneak into the place quietly. On the other hand, the general has made a discovery. The commander has been holding a Pearl Man captive. It seems that the destruction of Planet Mole was not so simple. However, when the general wanted to ask the truth, Pearl Man decided to commit suicide. The general immediately requested support from Earth and the intergalactic human team soon arrived at the city of a thousand planets. Next, 
They have to clear the radiation zone completely. At the same time, Valerian came to the Street of Style. It turns out that he is here to find a Charmed One. The Charmed One is a special alien race. She can change into various forms at will. I believe that every man fantasizes that he can have such a girlfriend. And this part of the plot could be more uneventful. We skipped it. By the time Valerian finished enjoying the drag show, he also finally confirmed the identity of the Charmed. Then Valerian directly shot the boss and knocked him out. And the Charmed Man was also scared to reveal his true face. It turned out that the Charmed was an illegal immigrant. Valerian promised that if he helped to save his teammates, afterward, she could get a legal status. Faced with such a temptation, the Charmed immediately agreed to Valerian's request. Then they arrived at the territory of the Big Eyes. With the special ability of the Charmed One, Valerian immediately turned into a Big-Eyed Man. He waltzed right into the territory. On the other side, Loreline was not in danger after being captured. Instead, the wide-eyed man took out all kinds of beautiful clothes and wanted Loreline to dress up in makeup. And she couldn't understand human language either. No matter how Loreline communicates, the big-eyed man looks not too smart. Loreline had no choice but to change her clothes. The big-eyed man then brought a strange hat. Looking at each other that silly eyes. Loreline now very helpless. They now each had food on their heads, because their king is a big appetite king, and he is extremely picky about food. Seeing that all the food could not satisfy the king's appetite, the butler standing next to him immediately took out a killer. Loreline came up slowly at that moment, and in her hand was also carrying a food. The king instantly showed a happy expression at sight. However, the king did not want to eat the food on the plate, and he directly squeezed the lemon juice on Loreline's head. Then he even took out a special cutlery. At this time, Loreline has found the situation is not right. Loreline was about to become a delicacy when Valerian suddenly rushed out. Because wide-eyed people are slightly bloated. So he she easily killed two guards. Valerian then rushed directly to the king. And with the sharp blade in his hand. He managed to cut off the king's head. But the crisis didn't end there because more guards came from outside the hall. Valerian was not afraid and immediately rushed toward his opponent. However, as the two sides were about to engage, Valerian jumped straight into the sewer doorway. By the time they were out of the sewer, the charmed man had fell to the ground. It turns out that when they were running away, the charmed one was behind them and blocked all the damage. After saying goodbye to Valerian, she also disappeared into the quicksand, but there was no time to grieve. Valerian had more important things to do. Soon they sneaked into the radiation zone. However, when they arrived, they found that the area was not contaminated. Then they came to a screen of light. At this time, a Pearl Man also came out from inside. But instead of attacking, Pearl invited them to look inside the screen of light. When Valerian walked inside, the screen of light was a spaceship. And as Valerian moved forward, he saw more and more Pearl people. Their eyes were full of goodwill and curiosity. Looking at this peaceful race, Valerian did not believe that the Pearl would create chaos. When Valerian reached the innermost part, he saw the commander lying unconscious. Then, he also met the King of the Pearls. The King and Queen looked at Valerian with kindness and love in their eyes. It turned out that they felt the scent of Princess Pearl in Valerian's body. Pearl people are a special race. Each of their people will release all the energy in their bodies when they are dying. They travel through time and space in the form of energy waves and then go to find a kind host as their sole guardian. With the Queen's touch, Princess Pearl's soul also gradually emerged. They finally reunited again after 30 years. Then, under the explanation of the Pearl King, Valerian finally learned the truth about the destruction of Planet Mall. Someone had started a war outside the planet. At that time, the people of Planet Mall did not know whom the two sides were fighting. But in this interstellar war, all kinds of weapons of mass destruction have emerged. Until the last side used a fusion missile, its powerful force destroyed the enemy's mother ship and caused the planet mole to explode. Finally, the Moose Star completely turned into a piece of dust. In the battle, King Pearl lost her daughter and six million of her people. They survived with the help of a broken warship. Then they started to drift into the universe. During this time, the Pearl people also learned much unknown knowledge from the ship's database. It was only then that the Pearl finally realized that it was the humans who had destroyed their home. Then some time later, the dilapidated ship they were in was salvaged by scavengers. And so the Pearl people followed them to the city of a thousand planets. Tens of thousands of species live here. Countless pieces of knowledge are shared here. The arrival of the Pearl people did not create a single ripple. They just quietly observed and learned. Until they had enough knowledge and materials to build a ship. 
Although their planet no longer existed, but they could replicate the original world with the knowledge and technology they had learned. But they still need the two most important things. That is the Moose Star Converter and the Heavenly King Beads. And Converter was taken away by Valerian. So they had to kidnap the Commander. Now everything has come to light. And the Queen, to verify the truth, also woke up the Commander. When the Commander woke up again, he looked at the Pearl people surrounding him and immediately ordered the Valerian to arrest them. But then Valerian told the truth about the destruction of Planet Maul. It turns out that humans were at war with another civilization. The commander was the commander-in-chief of the battle. To win the final victory, the commander ignored the reports of life on Planet Maul. In the end, the commander was determined to launch the missile. Although the human fusion missiles defeated the enemy, they also destroyed the Planet Maul. After the war, the commander tried to cover up his crime. He killed everyone who knew about it and set the information about Planet Mole to the highest level. So when he saw the Pearl people in the city of a thousand planets, the commander decided to kill them completely. Seeing that his secret had been exposed, the commander immediately became hysterical. He told Valerian that if other civilizations knew about this, the human race would not only be liable for huge financial compensation, he even had to be sanctioned by the Interstellar Alliance for violating the agreement. Now only to destroy all the Pearl people is the most correct choice as a human. However, Valerian didn't eat this, and he directly knocked the commander out with a punch. Seeing that everything had come to light, Lorline immediately took out the converter. Then the queen also came to the energy furnace, when she fed the converter with the Heavenly King beads. In a short moment, countless Heavenly King beads began gushing out. They eventually formed a peculiar energy, then all of them poured into the ship's transformer. At this time, all the pearls were also gathered in a group. They didn't know how long they had waited for this day. And with the appearance of a magical energy, the whole ship turned out to be Planet Mall. And this is not a virtual image technology because Valerian can now feel the sea's waves. Then, the queen also came over, because the pearls were about to leave this place. She took away the princess's soul lodged in Valerian's body. Just as the king said goodbye to them, a soldier rushed over. It turned out that the human army had just now surrounded the place. They blocked Pearl's territory and even prepared to use bombs to destroy the place. When Valerian learned this news, he knew that with the current power of the Pearl people, they could not fight against the humans, and it would take some time for the ship to start up. So he let some of the Pearls out of the barrier, and they used their empty hands as a gesture of goodwill. While they stalled for time, Valerian managed to contact the general. He then immediately told the truth about what happened, although the general believed Valerian's words. Only the commander had the authority to stop the operation according to system procedures. So Valerian immediately took the commander over. However, as a soldier, the commander valued honor more than life and death, and he had already left a backhand. Annihilate them all. With the commander's order, the robots surrounding the outside immediately launched an attack. The commander had the highest authority in the Katron unit. Now he would kill the Pearl people and all humans who knew about it, so that no one would ever know of his crimes. And the Katron robots are the most powerful technology of humanity. Their firepower machines are powerful, and their bodies are made of special materials. Under their sudden attack, the human soldiers were defeated, and even the Pearl people suffered heavy casualties. When Valerian saw all this, he immediately grabbed his weapon and rushed out. Although Valerian quickly took care of the robot, it was a drop in the bucket, but Valerian was not trying to win the war. He just needed to buy enough time for the Pearl. Seeing that the bomb was about to detonate, Valerian immediately jumped into the light screen. At that moment, Pearl's ship finally succeeded in starting up. The ship directly out of the city of a thousand planets, at the end of the film, the bombs of the base did not explode because a mysterious man stopped them. The commander was tied to a vine when the soldiers arrived at Pearl territory. The Pearl didn't kill him, and they left him for the humans to judge. And Valerian and Lorline finally understood the new meaning of each other after this journey of hardship. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe to my channel. We will see you next time.